A new Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 patch has dropped with some new updates. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway with fellow non TI Argo Alice in order to participate. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, the new patch just went out, still wave one for 4.0 and uh, let's just get straight into it for features and gameplay under the location category they made further contested zone location polish further pyro outpost art and performance polish has been done pyro station landing pad art polish has also been done under the ai category ai npc voice lines and facial animation inclusion polish has also been done the kzar grazer audio polish pass has also been done under gameplay it says the pdc hostility changes is very important it says pdcs will now defend the ship from anything that attacks it means they won't attack anything that doesn't attack them first other than incoming missiles and torpedoes it means they will attack anyone that shoots it above the friendly fire threshold including police even the ship's owner or party member they have no allegiance to anyone but the ship. Really interesting. I think I think I like this. Let's see how this plays out in the PU though. Um, they made star map update as well. They added party members to the list in marker data bank panel. So I think this means you can directly jump to your party members by selecting them on your maps um, through the panel. So which is really good. All right. So next year under the core tech, they made many physics performance optimization solar system transition performance polish jump tunnel vfx and network performance polish jump point audio polish and mixing updates and fps ai navigation optimizations has also been done a few bug fixes in this one as well the fixing issue were low resolution surface textures for uh with balkan um they fixed an issue where non-owners can interact and unlock and open doors, ramps, elevators, and non-owned ships. So this is for multiple vehicles. They fix an issue where refuel, repair, and rearm services unavailable when landed on landing pad. So now this is the rundown stations at multiple locations in Pyro. They fix an issue where fuses are not placed into the socket when performing the place interaction prevents doors from being opened. So now that is for contested zones. They fix an issue where jump failure does not always place the player at a random failure point. They fix an issue where players are unable to fail jump tunnels via distortion. They fix an issue where removing a mining bag from the prospector causes multiple impound warnings for pad ramming the fishing issue where allo rats do not scurry away from the player when approached the fishing issue where multiple helmets not calling players beard the fishing issue where there is floating geometry in a vehicle's dealership and the fishing issue where great is missing collision causing players to fall through so now this is for frontier outposts in pyro Along with this is 14 client crashes, 3 server crash fixes, a hybrid crash fix, and 2 server deadlock fixes. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, I'll catch you guys on the next one.